Hi, my name is Pierre. I'll tell you about spectrum screening. Intended and unintended adulteration of milk is unfortunately a fact of life in modern dairy production. Unintended adulteration may be due to improper cleaning of equipment so that cleaning water or cleaning agents end up in the milk. Intended adulteration, on the other hand, is when alien compounds are added to the milk for economic gain. Typical adulterants uh, include water, animal or vegetable fats, nitrogen compounds such as urea or melamine, preservatives, or cow's milk in sheep milk. The challenge when dealing with uh, adulterants in milk is that we usually do not know what we're looking for. Once an adulterant has been discovered, it's likely that new adulterants will enter the production system, intended or unintended. Therefore, targeted calibration models for specific adulterants, such as added water, will only provide partial protection against adulteration. To address this problem, we have developed the Abnormal Spectrum Screening Module, ASM. It provides a measure of whether a sample is typical or not. The background for such a measurement is that the infrared milk spectra measured by the Milka scan only show little variation between samples. So if something else is added to the milk, it's likely to result in a dramatic change in the sample's infrared spectrum. For example, nitrogen adulterants such as ammonium sulfate, urea or melamine will produce infrared peaks that are not present in natural milk. ASM measures the deviation of a new milk sample from the spectra of natural samples. It produces a score and a warning if the new milk sample is too far away from normal milk. Natural samples produce low scores, whereas adulterated samples produce high scores. It's quite easy to create an ASM model for your own samples. All you need to do is to collect spectra of typical samples measured on your milk scan. Make sure to uh, cover different animal breeds, feeding regimes, as well as milk from different seasons. The great advantage is that no wet chemistry is required. The limit of detection depends on the nature of the adulterant. In general, adulterants alien to milk are the easiest to detect. Once your ASM model has been created, you'll be able to screen your, all your future samples for potential adulteration, and you'll get the answer within only 30 seconds. This means that you'll be able to focus your targeted wet chemistry for adulterants on specific samples instead of just doing random testing. Thanks for your attention.